Okay, so we're talking about bisecting. We're gonna start with the anterior holder. Okay, we have this, it, the anterior holder, remember it can be blue, it can be white. You just have to make sure that you check the orientation of the holder, okay? All right, so for bisecting, we're not gonna have that arm and that ring. So we're going to go into the patient's mouth with just a bite block. We're gonna place, the placement is exactly the same. And remember, don't have your patient bite down very hard, just till they hold it. And now for bisecting, your sensor is gonna be close to the teeth. Not necessarily in the center of the mouth, but close to the teeth. And we got this guy right here with the broken tooth, okay? So if you can see, you can look how the sensor is placed in the mouth. Okay, so now your cone is going to go at that same angulation of the sensor. So you have to visualize that you had that circle there. So you're gonna place the, yep, she's got her hand right there kind of showing where the bottom of the sensor is. And then if you look, you can see that her PID is in line with the sensor. Okay, that's your centrals, and she's gonna tip over to do her canine lateral. You're just gonna tip that over, just like you were before, like you did before. And now remember, your canine is gonna be your longer tooth, so it's gonna have more angulation. If you look there, we got quite a bit of angulation. So she's gonna adjust that PID to visualize that it's in line with that sensor. Okay, so that's the maxillary. Let's do the mandibular. So let's do the mandibular centrals. We're just flipping over. Okay. Now you have to make sure that when you do these mandibulars that there is a part of the sensor that is above the incisal edge of the teeth. Okay, you see how it's not down in there too far? You want it above the teeth a little bit. The dexter is gonna bite just to hold it. And now we're coming with our angle. A lot more angle than we did when we were using the XCP. A lot more angle. So do you see right here the line of where her sensor is to her comb? Okay, so it looks like this. Looks like this. Okay, and then we're gonna tilt over for the canine lateral. Just gonna tilt over. Okay. And remember, we're right up against the teeth with this now because we're bisecting. When we were paralleling, we were in the center of the mouth. So you see where her sensor is, she's getting that cone right on there. There we go, you can see it here. Okay, so that's your anteriors. Now we're gonna move to posterior. So your anterior is just with the bite block no holders, and there's various different types of bite blocks you can use. Okay, so now we're gonna use this snap array. So let's look at the snap array. So the bigger end of the snap array is always gonna face outside or towards you when you're loading. Okay, so the big part is facing you, and of course the arm goes outside of the patient's mouth and the cord follows the arm. Okay, so we put it right inside, right at the end. You're gonna scrunch those guys down and then you slide that little lever up right here. Okay, let's look at that again, right there. Okay, so the larger is where the patient is gonna bite on, okay? So we're going for the upper right molar. So going in the mouth, this snap array is gonna go in at an angle you go in, do you see how she's at an angle? And we're gonna put that sensor right up against the teeth. We're not gonna be in the center of the mouth like we were. And we're gonna tilt it a little, okay? It's gonna be tilted. Mm -hmm. 
okay? Now you see that purple line right there. Do you see that purple line? That is telling you where the edge of your sensor is. So the mesial of your sensor is right there. So you have to line your cone up on that. So we're coming with the cone. She's gonna line it up. The bottom of her sensor is the bottom of the white or the snap array. That's the bottom. And then the side or the mesial of the sensor is that purple line. And she's giving it some angulation there. Okay. And if you can see in there, her cone and her, the sensor is about the same angle. All right. So let's go to the lower left molar now. So you would just pull that slightly forward for your premolar, just you like you do everything else. Okay, that would be premolar. So let's go to the lower left, or you can go lower right, let's switch it. Yeah. So lower right, you're gonna have to switch that holder. So that holder is gonna go on top of the sensor. Right here. Mm -hmm. Right there. Okay, push it down on. And if you look at it, there's no sensor sticking out the bottom because that's gonna get the opposite arch teeth. So you want it to be perfect right on the edge. Okay, we're going on the lowers now. I'm gonna go in. Now remember before we were in the center of the mouth. Now we're gonna be right up against the teeth. She's gonna tilt, going in, get it in the mouth. more. <laughs> there we go, getting it in the mouth, getting your placement, and then you're going to just close to hold it. So remember that purple line is the edge of your sensor. That's the mesial of your sensor. So now she's going to adjust. So now we're looking at the top of your sensor is right at that base, right where the patient's biting. So you got a little bit more angle there. There you go. So you see the angle. It's kind of in line with how the sensor is sitting in there. Okay. So that's your snap array. There we go. And then your bite wings would be with your bite wing tab like you guys have been doing. 